night for the very first time, Austin police officers cleared from charges stemming from the 2020 protests tell us firsthand about their experience. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Britt Moreno. This month, the district attorney dropped 17 out of 21 of those use of force indictments. A sergeant and detective who no longer face charges told KXAN's Brianna Hollis about the environment during those protests and their thoughts on getting indicted. Take me back to that day in 2020. So I was part of the special response team along with Sergeant Blake. He was one of the, the sergeants in charge of it. As the day started progressing, the, the masses moved in. They started taking over I-35. The special response team motto is defend the first. So we were out there to protect the protesters. However, when we start taking bottles, rocks, bottles filled with uh, urine and paint filled bottles, when we start getting hit, my officers start getting hit with that, it's no longer a peaceful protest. There's video of me using my department issued baton to swat rocks away like a, uh, like a baseball bat. Some people in the crowd did get injured that day. It's horrible. No officer goes out there wanting to seriously injure. And when I see badly hurt, I mean brain injuries, I mean surgeries, I mean, real serious stuff. Attorney Jeff Edwards represents several of those protesters in civil suits. The city of Austin says it paid out more than $20 million in settlements related to this. District Attorney Jose Garza said those injuries prompted his office to review police actions during the protests. That landed Irwin and Blake on a list of 19 indicted officers in February of 2022. Very confused because I knew what we had done up there was right in line with our training. I was baffled. Irwin says he never hit anyone with his less lethal beanbag round. Blake says he never fired one. The DA's office dropped the charges against them and 15 other officers this month. I would not read into the district attorney's decision that what happened was not unlawful. Is the fact that you're cleared now, does that change any of your frustrations? Well, Things like this in life will make you bitter or make you better. And Blake says he had to give up his spot on the SWAT team a coveted role after getting indicted. And both officers say this process took a toll on their professional and personal lives. To this day that it had been a part of me for so long that it's, it's almost a permanent scar. It's part of who I am now. I'm excited to get back out there and I'm excited to be a productive uh, part of this department. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. Now, the district attorney's office is still pursuing cases against four officers for their use of force during those 2020 protests. D.A. Garza, along with the city of Austin, sent a letter to the Department of Justice asking for a federal review of APD's actions during those protests.